In this video, we'll offer some tips on choosing a celestial body. Some celestial bodies need additional corrections, and for this course, we'll focus on the ones that are quick and easy to calculate on the site reduction form. For the scope of this course, we'll restrict ourselves to the Sun. The Nautical Almanac also covers the Moon, planets, and stars, but these have additional corrections that are beyond the scope of this course, though they will be covered in the supplemental section of our website. When choosing a celestial body, we want to avoid one that is more than 75 degrees above the horizon. Remember, 90 degrees is directly overhead, and as we get close to this limit, choosing the proper horizon to measure from gets tricky and may lead to large errors. Also, our line of position, which is in fact a circle, becomes small enough to cause issues if we're close to 90 degrees. So, in our example, let's assume the sun is roughly 20 degrees above the horizon. Except in extreme weather conditions, there will be no atmospheric adjustments to worry about, and it is far enough from 90 degrees that we should be able to obtain an accurate measurement. We note the sun as our celestial body on the site reduction form. To test your understanding of what we covered in this video, click this link. It'll take you to a few questions designed to help you remember these concepts. Once you are comfortable with this material, you can move on to our next video, Apparent Altitude, by clicking on this link.